Yo guys, what is up? It's um Toxic Bots here back again. Um I have been using my iPhone 10s Max um gold edition for about 2 months now and I got to say this has to be the best one I've ever had. Now, the quality is amazing because whenever you hold it, it's like you feel like premium. The quality is amazing. Now, there's also the fast charger that we have, which is amazing as well. I barely use it, but I still have it. And the best case for this type of phone is the OtterBox case, the Defender OtterBox case. It really does help out. The only uh, con about having the the OtterBox um, case is that it does not come with the screen protector so come on with the screen protector but I trust myself with this phone so yeah as you can see this phone runs fluently as you can see it's amazing I don't know if you can see the quality as well but it goes pretty fast in apps out of apps if we load into Clash Royale we load into Geometry Dash, or if we load into YouTube, it loads in extremely fast. And the only con I have about this phone, and I know I'm being very, very nitpicky about this, but it's whenever I turn it on, there's always like this little, like, well, not always, like this little, like, glare here, like this, like, a graph. And then it disappears. It's no more than a second, but still, that's the only complaint I have about this phone. Um, and yeah, the other complaint I have about this phone is when it came from, like, where it came from, basically. It was inside the Apple box, but then it came with this little rink ding charger. It, it looked like crap, but then I realized I had a fast charger all along. It was my iPad Air 2 charger, but it, again, this phone does not come with any fast charging of any sorts, like, at all, which kind of sucks, uh, give or take, that you're actually going to get this phone for, like, $1,100. I mean, this is a really good phone. It's premium. I can literally go like this. The grip is amazing. See, look. I'm able to trust myself with this phone. And it also has like that vibrant thingy going on. I don't know what it's called, but it's vibrant. It's video taking skills are amazing. Let me just log in. Okay. Snap a couple photos. Get an up close shot. It might not be as great as the video is taking it, but it looks really good. You can see all the details. You can even see me. You can see, like, parts of the shadow. It's awesome. It really is. And just the CPU of this is amazing. The RAM bumped up to 4 gigabytes of RAM. And this has an OLED uh, screen. As you can see, you barely see any pixels on this device. Oh, wait. The camera. Focus. Okay. So you can barely see any... Actually, no. You're not supposed to see any pixels. And if you do, you're high. Um, so, yeah. It, it is such an amazing phone. It has stereo speaker as well. I'll try to add in for something over here. Let's just try to load something up. Now... Going from here, these little grills, and this little speaker over here. It really gives you a premium stereo. It's amazing. See so, ya. Yeah. And 
this has HDR feature on it too. Like if you want to watch a, a video with 4K on it. Let me just load that in real fast. Sorry for the mild inconvenience. What's up, everybody? Came oh. here for a moment. Came all the way down to California to tell you about this new lens. Don't hit the skip button. Nah, no, gee, I'm not. I'm just kidding that. Okay. This should be... Yes, you are allowed to do... 1080p. 4K. HD. Please do not copyright my video. video that was sponsored. barely anything. So yes. The, the screen is amazing. The battery life is also a really good thing. It almost lasts longer than the XR. Now people ask me, why does the XR last a lot longer? Or that's why you should get the XR. Well, actually, it's because the XR has a liquid retina screen. Basically, what that means, it has a crap, crap quality. Like, compared to this, the OLED display, it literally holds no merit, no match at all. It, it's kind of insane that Apple is selling such a bad and low-quality content. But, I mean, it's at least $750, I believe. That's still a lot for a phone. I mean, and I got Apple Care on it too, so I mean, it protects from thievery and water damage and scratches. The face ID is a lot faster. I could tell it's as soon as I just like look at this phone, it loads up, and then it, that's literally it. And it just loads in. Um, I can watch Netflix on here, and it's really fast. It almost never buffers the cellular data. It loads in really, really fast. Like, there's nothing but positivity on this phone. There's nothing I can complain about. This, this is the perfect phone that you want. I mean, is it $1,100 worth? Sure. Do you want to spend that much? Maybe not, but... Hey, we had that, so... We, I wanted to get the more quality phone, and obviously I got the gold one. The gold has to be the best one. Out of the possible three. And, yeah, that's it. Like, anything related to gaming, watching videos, j just anything overall. This phone can even beat the Note 9. Like, even in some instances, maybe the Note 9 has an advantage. But, there's some, um, I guess, like, instances where you can also use an iPhone X 10s Max and then say hey the Samsung is now really bad or Android is bad and I want to switch to this phone I mean not a lot of people want to use this for their daily driver as their daily driver is just for the fact that I mean it's an expensive phone not a lot of people like have or know these features and then they just decide not to get it um, it goes perfectly with uh, the charging, but it doesn't, it's not charging right now, obviously, because it's not hooked up. So, if we just attach all of these auto box parts on, it might take a while. It still looks beautiful, regardless. I mean, I would rather keep this phone from shattering than another, like, in another five years. I would rather have this phone in five years than break it in, like, two months. Two months. Like, it's. It's getting to the point that, like, my friends, they're, like, scratching their phones and because they don't have an OtterBox case. And I'm going to show you how the OtterBox case does work. So, yes, it, my phone normally just looks like this. Hold on. This might not look like a good display, but it is. Hold on. It has good rough edges, the OtterBox. It's really good. Hold on. There you go. This should be it. It's really bulky, but you'll definitely get used to it in under like a week or two. Definitely, like it's it's literally the same. You might not see the gold as well, but you could tell the size of this behemoth of a phone. See, look, that's really big. It's even 
bigger than the 8 plus I mean like I mean actually a little bit smaller but still this is what my phone looks like in the auto box case and if I drop this I wouldn't even be that mad because if it drops on its face as you can see I can literally drop this right now like see look I know that wasn't from that high that was barely like a foot that's not even a foot actually like a couple of inches See, it saved it because it has these, I guess, like parts to it that saves the screen. It, the screen's like over here, but then the parts of the case hook on and it stops the screen from like shattering or anything. If it drops on its back, it'll just be fine, whatever. It has a cushion on its back. I should have showed you that, but yeah, that's it. And plus, this does not come out to. Screen uh, protector. So yeah, this is my daily driver. It's, yeah, it's been a, an amazing phone. I love it to death. It's amazing. Best phone on the market, and also the most expensive phone on the market. So yeah, this has been Tactic Mods, and I'm signing out. Peace.